Oh, hello everyone. It's teaching artist Raf at the DO. Today, I'm finding still lifes. Here's some things lying on my desk that I'm viewing through this viewfinder that I made. Now, I'm not arranging things the way some artists make still lifes. I'm simply using my viewer to help me focus in on small bits of what I see all around. Here's what you'll need. Aside from a cardboard box, like a cereal box works, cell phone, pencil, scissors, and whatever art supplies you'd like to use. Now before we get started, let's look at some still lifes from the collections at the De Young Museum. Here's a still life from long ago by the artist Abraham van Baren. Look at the fancy objects and how carefully he arranged them. Notice how he put most of the bright colorful things in the front of the picture. This picture is from 1666. And here's a still life from more modern times. It's by Paul Warner from 1993. Does it look like something was spilled across the table? What shapes do you see repeated? What colors? Some things even spill outside the picture frame. Can you find them? I'll be making a picture first, something like this, by just finding things left lying around. I'll also not worry about getting whole objects in my picture. Sometimes just a part of an object makes for an interesting composition. So let's make our viewfinder first. That'll help us focus in and find a composition in the world around our home. Grab your cereal box and cut out one long side. You can use a piece of cardboard instead. Lay your cell phone right in the middle of your cardboard and trace around it. Next, gently bend your cardboard so that you can cut into the middle, like this. Now cut out the shape of your line from your cell phone and voila, you have a viewfinder. Now use your viewfinder like a little window to help you frame your composition. And remember, a composition is the arrangement of forms in your picture. You can move it closer to your camera or further away from your camera. And when you find a nice shot, take the picture. What do you think? And lastly, make your picture with whatever art materials you have at hand. I'm gonna use these pastels, some paper, and a pencil, and my picture from my phone. I'm choosing to start with simple shapes and light pencil. Notice I'm not getting bogged down by too much detail in pencil. Next, I begin to add colors. I use deep colors near the edges of objects to make them really pop. I'll also use blue and gray instead of the black for the table. I like pastels over markers because I can blend them with my finger. There we are. How about that? We'd love to see what your artwork looks like so be sure to tag your artwork with hashtag the youngsters if you post it on social media. So long.